Hello, welcome back. We are in the middle of a sticky situation here, and the cause of that situation seems to have just had a heart attack, so... Uh, I told him to calm down. I did try to get him to calm Can down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. I mean... This guy hasn't given me much of a reason to want to help him, but sure. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Oh, okay. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. That's his daughter. I thought the other one was his daughter. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. You reckon? <laughs> this ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Okie doke. That'd be great. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Nice. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. I feel like you, in this situation it's name? probably best it's Lily. if Clementine doesn't Larry. have the other one. Keep a good eye if on we them. have it. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Doug, okay. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. Doug, You'll shift Carly, in with Lily. Doug when he needs it. For now, and get some rest. I can't remember the... You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. I can't remember the Now get Dick's him those name. pills. Doug, Carly, Lily. Hello. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Well said. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from oh, me. Oh, shit. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, still don't want to watch him get eaten. That guy saved you? Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. Walkers. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. Well done, Doug. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement, so... <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> So, how'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with? It? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Am I some kind of radio genius? Ah, well, no batteries in this I've thing. found your problem. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Batteries. As in... As in batteries. You don't... You don't know what batteries are? Excuse me? Lady? Heard or seen him? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, sure. sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. You know that, yep. <laughs> that is very true. left comes back as one of them. Wonderful. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. <laughs> yeah, Few years. So like, at least ten. 
and we don't even I know. Can't reach that brick. Really? Are you sure? I feel like you can try harder. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. I feel well, like one day, so long as enough scientists live, they'd be able to find a cure. Wait, should we be opening hey, this? Hey man, what are you doing? Yeah, we no. can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hit on us, then. Oh, shit. Wasn't my surname ever it? What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Ah, oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore. And died with keys in his pocket. Okay, well we gotta get to him then. Take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Time to engage yeah, stealth mode. That he worked here. Mode. I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Uh Do we have binoculars? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. <laughs> and then they failed. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see <laughs> around out there. Yep. Okay, so... What am I missing here? I still can't... I can't reach yeah. that brick. How do I prove that that guy... It's a combination lock. That place is full of TVs and electronics. I don't know. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. Is that how universal remotes work? work? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. I bet you did. <laughs> Mum's basement is right. Well fucking done, Doc. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? <laughs> yeah, you look over there. My god, I need I a new chair. Take notice. This one keeps creaking, I'm really sorry. <laughs> if you can hear it, which you probably can, because it's loud. But not enough. Well, that's step one. What else can we talk to him about? Those things like TV. Things like TV. Oh, as a statement. Sound of I, yeah. Those, louder, yeah. We might be able to I'm dumb. I was like, what? What does that mean? I don't understand. If it was louder. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... In your mum's basement? No, just... Doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe he was adopted because he doesn't seem too cut up about it, but I swear his name, his son name was Everett. I can't reach that brick. I don't know. We obviously need this brick. I'm guessing we can break the window or something with the brick, but I just need to figure out how to reach the brick. Hey man, what are you doing? Okay, we can't we do can't that can't even yet. think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Well, I just wanted to reach the brick, man, and for... I don't know. We probably need to go back in then because... Sure seems like there's nothing else we can do. 
Let's head back inside. Okay. There must be something we can pick up in here. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead. That'd be handy. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, there's a battery. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, yeah. we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. You're welcome, Kenny, I think. How's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? I'm it's guessing okay. he's not bitten. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How is she doing? Not gonna lie, Kenny, if your son was bitten, I might not have been fighting your corner anymore. <laughs> Family's dead, so that's awful, Lee. Yeah, well, she seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Well, she seems tough enough. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Well, I prefer Quiet Duck to Talky Duck. What's the plan? Yeah, we need End a new plan now. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for Staying things to clear here up. Doesn't seem you said your family like the was best from strategy. here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Yeah. They own this place. Okay, so it, it was. They, uh own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. For you, buddy. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Women and children first and all that. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. He wasn't a we did boy. What we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Yeah. I guess. You gotta prioritize the kids. Try to let it go. Lovely. Get the noms in. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Larry. Larry the I was just dick. doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, he was the one getting violent, so... Cry me a river. Not a fan of this family. Uh, What's wrong with heart attack, He's right? got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, no, he doesn't fuck you. It. It's just he doesn't a, mean it? Are you yeah. sure? He, he seems like he means it. We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that he seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Well, he was trying pretty hard to Where's be the reason mom? everything's screwed. Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh. No, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. 
I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Damn straight. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. <laughs> you? I work up at UGA. Was anyone I don't know what UGA is. <laughs> no, this place was pretty wrecked. University, he maybe? He said something about university. Maybe he when Are you okay? I thought he was talking about back getting a degree, yeah, but maybe he works at a uni. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners. They were. Uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. No one's really dead. <laughs> What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay, I could give you this, couldn't I? It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't I don't know if I could have given it to anyone else, actually. Now that I think about it, maybe it was a... A choice thing, but oh well. That works too. Try and make her less uh, angsty at us. What have we got in here? Oh, hey, Clem. First aid kit, lovely. That is exactly what we need. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Or not. <laughs> I would have thought first aid kit would be like a priority thing to take with us. Door leads to the back alley. That could be useful. Oh, pick. Well, I guess that's proof that the guy across the street works here. He's wearing the uniform. Ah, oh, why? Find anything? Nice family photo. Why are you embarrassed? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I don't understand I that. know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. Ah. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Yeah. What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. Well, I guess he definitely did do it then. I'll just keep it to myself. But at least it wasn't his wife. <laughs> it was who his wife was cheating with, which... You shouldn't really be murdering folks for, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone can kind of see where he's coming from. That is a very angry moment when you find that out, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, how can I trust you? How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. That is a valid point. Okay, so we've done that, done that. Where's Clem? Anything else here? My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Can we actually go over here at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. Heave!
walking What's stick. That? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shop <laughs> This cane's protected this place better than any uh, car dog ever could. That Those sounds good to watch. So cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I feel like we could use the end of the cane to hook the brick or something, but we can't pick it up, so. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? <laughs> she looks so sure. excited. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? Yeah, I didn't mean. It's not good. I didn't mean how no, you're doing with that not. dragging the but table. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just. Oh yeah, it's all gonna be fine, Clem. Don't worry. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Not anymore. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Okay, so yeah, he was working like, at a unique um, professor. Social studies? Yeah, History like and writing. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Uh, oh, man. Do I... She's eight? Do I tell her? No. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble. That's that's what happened. That's that's what you call it. Ow! Ooh! Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Well, we got a first aid kit right over here. I'll find you a bandage. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, hey, it's another universal remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled bandaging. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Lee would make a good dad. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. This seems like a good pairing. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Well... They'll They're find us. Pakistan. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me. You understand we have okay. the other walkie-talkie, right, Clem? So, they actually can't do anything? What's up here? Oh, that's the TV. That's what I figured. Well, <laughs> what a great find. Okay, what's through here then? Uh, the keys are on the Oh, side right. And that's. Street. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Can we really not pick up this cane? That's for the door, right? Not the cane. Yeah. Man, I'm so sure that. Heard from Glenn. Do we know who Glenn is? Have you heard from... Not in a little while. 
Oh, Glenn's the one that went out looking for gas. Yeah, gotcha. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay. Pretty sure we've got everything in this Wanna room. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, no? Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yes, absolutely. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. Okay, bit of a slower paced episode, but uh, it was still good. Interesting information, backgrounds on everyone, especially Lee himself. Uh, so if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and come back next time, which will be very shortly, for part four, when uh, we'll probably be finally getting the keys and getting into that room. So, see you then.